Hey, welcome to the Daddy Curbs Farm and the first beekeeping episode of 2020. I'm wearing a different hat today. My buddy at Jupy Mills gave me a hat and I thought I'd wear it in this video. Thought that was special. I'm going to get this smoker lit and then we're going to get in there and check to see how the bees did over these last few months of colder weather. We're in Texas. It didn't get that cold. It got down to around 30 degrees once or twice. But we did already, I can tell you, we already lost the small hive, the one we were calling the Gretchen Bee Ranch hive. It was reduced to a nuke and it's gone. So how did the horizontal hives do compared to the vertical hives through that little bit of cold weather? I don't know. Let's get in there and check it out. The horse manure that was available for fuel today, some of it was nice and dry because it's a good sunny day, but there's a few bits in here that are a little bit more moist. Hopefully we can get this lit. I like using the horse manure in the smoker, one, because it's plentiful. And the last few times when I've used it, it stayed lit the whole time. It's great smoke. Works out really well. I came out armed with my Hive Butler box with some extra deep frames. I'm not sure what the bees are going to need today. It's kind of hard to believe really that today is a January day. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but man, it is nice, comfortable. The active and alive hives right now are these three back here and this one horizontal hive oh this one over here that one is alive and active the front one is empty and this stack of boxes here is just a stack of boxes so we're going to get into each of these just to see what the condition is they might need nothing maybe they just want to be left alone but i don't want to let this good day go to waste since i haven't been in these boxes for since before christmas Okay, not too energetic, not too excited I should say. Let a little bit of that smoke go down over the top. This is a honey super on top, let's see if they have any honey. I don't want to take honey today, because they still have a couple of months of potential cold weather. They do have some honey on that one. Yep, honey on both sides and nectar. That's nice. We do have the queen excluder on this one. Some of these bees don't even know who I am. They're so young and I haven't been out here in a while. They've only heard stories about me. Okay, they're making honey. They have nectar and pollen. Not pollen, but nectar. And they're making a little bit of honey in there. You can see some of that capped honey mm -hmm. there. So we'll take that box, this top box off. We're not going to do anything with the top box. We're just going to let it be. But we're going to get down below and see if uh, how much brood they might have in there. They are coming out a little bit excited. Not crazy aggressive, but... Okay, they got some honey on there. I, think I need some more smoke.
So they are putting fresh honey in the second box. This is a uh, one of the big mediums, seven and five eighths. I thought I got rid of all these, but I did not. That is a nice frame right there of bees and nectar. They're making honey right there. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Another big frame full of bees and nectar. Lots of production going on in this second box. So I think they're doing fine. I really don't need to dig around. Um, I kind of would like to see a little bit of brood. Well, there it is. There's some brood. Bonus would be seeing the queen, but I do see mm -hmm. pollen on their legs. I don't know if you can see any of that yellow on their legs. Brood on both sides of this one. So the brood box is up in the second. Mm -hmm. um, it's on the north side of this hive. I would have expected it to be on the south side of the hive because that, that would have been the, the sun passes over this way. I would have expected this side to be more active, but bees don't always listen to my logic. So there's some more good brood, mm -hmm. lots of larvae, lots of bees with pollen on their legs. All right, I'm gonna put this one back together. And I think they're doing fine with the number of boxes they have. I don't feel the need to put anything else on today. I'm gonna scoot these back over. The bottom box, I'm just going to assume they have a good brood nest going on down there. Uh, we'll check it again in a couple weeks. Right now, I just, I don't think it's necessary to disrupt them that much. Box number two. I sort of dropped that. Those frames were stuck to the inner cover and I lifted them up and they uh, sort of dropped in there. That's not good, but the bees didn't come out violently, so that's a good sign, I guess. This is a double deep with no queen excluder. So we're gonna get in here and just see if they have any brood up here in this second box. I don't see anything in this one. Just empty comb right there. There's another, a little bit of comb on there, but all empty. I got a little bit of wonky comb on that one. Sometimes they build really nicely on these plastic frames, sometimes not. This side is beautifully built. This side is not. Let's see, they have pollen, bee bread in this one, but no eggs or anything. So that's all just the beginning of stacking up resources. And that's completely, that's just foundation right there. There's wax on foundation mm -hmm. nothing nothing built up there's some uh, honey mm -hmm. this comb right here this is all built off of lifted off of the foundation this is what I don't want so I'm gonna take this out I don't want that in there So what I'm going to do with this wax right here, I'm going to ball it up. And I'm rubbing it on this foundation to make that foundation smell more like wax, more like honey, or wax, beeswax. Hopefully that encourages them to build out instead of you know, lift it off of the frame. This is right here, this is built just fine. It's just this part over here was not.
Lots of nectar on this one. Lots of shiny liquid in there. Again, this is empty comb. I was looking to see if I saw eggs. I don't. Uh, looks like they're building queen cells on this one. I'm looking to see if there's eggs in them. I, I kind of think there is. Yep, there are definitely eggs inside those queen cells. So they are replacing a queen right here. Lots of brood there. It looks like possibly drone brood. Big, big fat brood. Lots of resources here. Bee bread. Lots of pollen. Lots of nectar. Same thing on this side. Lots of resources. We're going to check that bottom box. I want to see if how the brood is doing down there. With all those queen cells, this one here might be getting ready to swarm. That's empty. That's empty. That's empty. Empty. Empty, empty, empty. This hive's not doing well. Everything, uh, all the activity is only in that one box. So I'm going to reduce them down to one box. I'm also going to put a, uh, I should have done this already, but I forget every year the ones that have the screen bottom boards to put something under that so that the, they have less of that cold air coming up from the bottom of the hive. So I'm going to reduce this hive down to one box and close off that screen bottom board. I'm going to find uh, some of these frames that have a lot of resources and I'm going to leave them available. I'm going to take this wonky comb right here, take that out. That has a lot of pollen in there, so we're going to leave this one. And we'll take that one out. If this hive has a queen at all, I don't know if she's down here or in the top box. I'm going to take all the frames out of this one and move them down. Most of those frames were almost completely empty. A little bit of honey on that one. Here's the frame with all the queen cells. That one definitely has to go back in there. Lots of drone brood on this one. Lots of pollen on this one. A little bit of brood on the other side. Okay. We just gotta find a few more. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two more good frames. Let's see if I can find one out of here that has some good stuff on it. We'll take that one right there. There we go, 10 frames.
The next hive here has a solid bottom board, so the screen is not going to be an issue in this one. It looks like this one is the 7 and 5 8 medium as well. Man, I really thought I got rid of those. I'm going to have to take inventory again, just get those boxes out of my inventory altogether. It has the queen excluder on one box and then the honey box on top. So let's see if they're doing anything with the honey box. Not so far. All right, there is some good honey here. Yeah, that looks very nice. So they definitely are building honey up top. Building out that out very, very nicely. Three frames of pretty good honey. Not completely full, but they're doing their work. Four. Five. So none of them are, are uh, completely full, but they they are definitely putting honey up there. So let's see if they have any brood. Let's see how this hive is doing. I'm really curious how that horizontal hive. You know they're supposed to do better in the colder temperatures. One, because the, the heat's not going all straight up, and the the wood that the hive is made out of is actually thicker. This is all three quarter inch wood on these hives and those are made out of one and a half inch lumber so all right so we know they have some resources up top let's see how the hive is doing down below it looks like they got a good number of bees down there so let's take this queen excluder off they are not coming out all excited you know, sometimes I actually like it when they come out excited because that lets me know that the hive is at least defending themselves and they're they're doing okay. When they don't come out, sometimes I think that they're they're weak. You know, other people would probably say, "No, no, no, that's the way you want them." And I I know I know that's what they say. But in my experience, the hives that have the most uh, defensive behavior are the ones that are doing the best. So that is a completely, completely, I'm looking for eggs. This one looks to be completely empty. This one too. A little concerned already for this one. All right, that's three frames that are empty on that north wall, and that first hive had every, all of their activity on the north wall. I don't know if that means anything. Looking for eggs, nothing. That's four frames completely empty. Five frames completely empty. Okay, this one's not empty. Well, let's see how they're doing. Hmm. Okay, it's got bees, but I didn't see anything else. There's some brood. Looking for that queen on this side. They have larvae. Let's see, do I see any eggs? There she is. There she is. Nice big queen right there. Okay. So they have brood on both sides of that one. First queen of the day, first queen of the year. All right, so they have brood, they have eggs and larva. Eggs and larva. So as far as like production of baby bees, this hive appears to be doing okay. They had a little bit of honey up top. A 
They have bee bread and nectar in this one. And they have a lot of pollen on their legs. All right, so, so on this one I was tempted to leave that top box off and also tempted to maybe reduce it down to five frames, but they had plenty of brood, so they're gonna have a lot more bees soon, coming soon, because uh, the brood will hatch out in a few days, or at least in a week or so. And they have the honey resources up here, so I'm gonna take a risk and put this one back together the same way it came apart and uh, just hope for the best on that. All right, what do you say we get into this horizontal hive and see how they did through that little cold snap? Before uh, I walked away from this the last time, over a month ago, I had reduced it a few frames down because they had so many empty frames on the end. This skinny board marks where the end of the hive is right here. So we're gonna start here and move that way and see if they need any more frames. Also, the last time I came out here, this hive was a little more aggressive, which surprised me. So let's see how they're doing. We're gonna take a few of these boards off and see how they're filling up these last few frames. The advantage here is that I can take as few boards off as I need. I'm gonna take three. We'll see how they're building up down here. Okay, still lots of empty space there. Take this very last one here. They do have a little bit of honey on that one. I may have put that in there with honey, I'm not sure. Okay, I can smell that defense pheromone right now, so maybe I squashed somebody. Okay, they have honey on this one, that's nice. They have honey on this side, and this one is just comb, drawn comb, no honey. All right, so they definitely don't need any more frames. Let's see how the hive is doing. This is one of those mediums that had the extra space and they filled it out. This is a very heavy frame, lots of honey, more honey. So far this one's produced quite a bit of honey. More honey. Let's see, do these guys have any brood? frame is heavy. That is solid honey right there. This side they're building out. I saw that circular shape and I'm looking for eggs. I don't see any eggs. Okay, more honey. I don't see any eggs on that one either. I hope they have a brood nest. See nectar. One queen cup, but that's probably an old queen cup. Lots of nectar. Lots of nectar on this one too. No brood so far, just lots of honey and nectar. It seems like there's enough bees that there's actually a colony in here and not just a bunch of robbers. Man, again, more nectar and honey. Lots of nectar on this side. I think there's some brood on this one. Yep, there's some brood. Yeah, I see lots of lots of brood there. And a good pretty good pattern. Okay, I see lots lots of larvae. 
I don't see any eggs right now, but let's see what they have on this other frame. Two more frames. Good brood nest. Good shape, good pattern. I do see eggs in this one. So there's a laying queen, or at least there has been in the least last three days. I don't see her yet. On this side, there's a lot of resources and eggs. So they have pollen and eggs. All right, last one. Let's see if we see the queen. And it is January and I am getting warm out here. Oops. Bump that one. All right, so they have lots of pollen. Okay, lots of pollen on that one. That's the last one. What I'm gonna do is insert, insert this empty frame. It's got some good comb on it. I'm gonna put the side with the most comb facing the brood nest. I did not see a queen, but I did, uh, like I said, I saw brood and eggs. What did I tell you about that horse manure? Once it gets lit, it stays lit. Man, that is the best fuel. Hey, here on the Daddy Curse Farm, I believe everyone has a story and every story counts. I believe your story counts because you count. Thanks for being a part of my story through this video and letting me be a part of yours. I'll talk to you soon.